Remove those collections. Or click the link in the description, 40% off. 747, you're gonna get it. It's an instant download. Easily dispute items in your credit reports with the easy dispute templates. It includes four templates and simple instructions. You're gonna get the instructions on how to dispute collections in your reports. How to get your three credit reports and scores. That's all three credit reports and scores from Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian. Where to send your letters to. Personal information update letter template. And two different collection dispute letter templates. And you're gonna get the follow-up dispute letter template. Go ahead, download these templates. You click the 40% off link in the description. You get it for 747 instant download. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Community Wealth. Today I'm gonna to go over another card that's pretty easy to get for you guys that have low credit scores. I'm talking about anywhere in the 500 to 550, 575 range, somewhere in there. Anything above 575, you can still get this card with no problem. But I would probably go more so for maybe a Capital One Platinum card or something like that. But then again, I just found out by going through this website that actually Credit One got some pretty good cards that don't have a bunch of fees on them. I will go over that eventually. All right now, let's get to it. This kind of go along with the credit card series that I've been going through lately with the first Premier, the Capital One, Platinum and Secured, and now we're on the Credit One. One thing I like about Credit One and First Premier is that these cards are unsecured along with the Capital One Platinum. These are unsecured cards and that's what really boosts your credit score. That's what your, your credit algorithms or the credit report algorithms are looking at. They're looking at your secured and your unsecured. You get more points for unsecured and it actually looks better for the lenders with the unsecured. So that's what you really want to do. You want to build your credit with unsecured. You could do the secured because that's an easy way in, but you're fronting up your own money and you're hoping that the car graduates well unsecured you don't have to worry about that even if they have fees i look at it as an investment in getting more credit again i have a first premier card remember i say i have a first premier card i have an annual fee and i play the monthly fee it's upwards of somewhere like 200 plus per year to hold that card and i barely even use it but then again i have a i had got pre-qualified for a six three thousand dollar auto loan along with me actually getting a forty thousand dollar auto loan. I also have a, a, a resort membership of seventeen thousand dollars that I probably know I'm sure I wouldn't have had gotten if I didn't start rebuilding my credit with an unsecured card like First Premier. Okay, and I'm also in a house that yes, I'm renting it right now. I didn't buy it yet. I'm gonna buy me a house eventually, but right now I'm trying to figure out, you know, am I gonna stay here? Am I gonna move back to where I'm from? But again. I got approved for that, okay? I got approved for a three bedroom, three bath house, 2,000 square feet, okay? Because I started rebuilding my credit with unsecured credit with the first premier credit card. But you don't necessarily have to use the first premier credit card. You can, but we have an other option here, as well as you can do both and get the first premier and the credit one, all right? Because remember, first premier, you're gonna get two cards and credit one, you, you can get more than one card as well. And they actually have an American Express card, which is gonna go through right now. Okay, so let's get to it. With the credit one card, okay, yes, it's usually a fee harvester. They got low tier cards, okay. Uh, they usually start you out at like three hundred to five hundred dollars. You can actually get up to twenty five hundred dollars as a starting credit limit. But here's the great thing about Credit One Bank. With Credit One Bank, they actually every six months you're up for credit limit increases. So even if you start at three hundred bucks in six months, you could be at five hundred, right? And then within a year, you could be at seven fifty to a thousand. All right, so in no time you'd be at $2,500 if they don't start you up right there. What well, if they start you up with $750? All right, and what well, if they start you up with an Amex card? Because Credit One actually has an Amex card. So now you can have and you'll be in the Amex card database. Okay, you would be in the Amex database because you have an Amex card. Okay, so here you can easily see if you pre qualify for their cards. Okay, as you know, you just click that and you enter your information and they're going to. Uh, see if you pre-qualify for most of their cards They have a mail offer you have a mail offer you can click it here and then you click in you put in a code for the mail offer and boom You got it. All right, so You go down here And here are the most popular cards the platinum rewards visa 
the platinum visa for rebuilding credit and this is the one that most people get when they have low credit scores and you have the credit one bank american express card okay so we're going to go with the uh with the platinum rewards visa for no you know what i'm going to go with the uh with the rebuilding credit card okay so we're gonna go here all right so here's the platinum visa for rebuilding credit all right perfect for everyday purchases all right you click here to see if you pre-qualify maybe they're gonna see what cards you qualify for all right so we go here you get one percent cash back rewards on everyday purchases okay you get credit line increase opportunities Get rewarded for responsible credit use. We'll review your account regularly for credit line increase opportunities to ensure you get all the credit you deserve. And I do this, they, they do this around every six months. The reason I know I used to have a credit one credit card back in the day. I haven't had one in like some years. We're talking at least, I will say at least about 10 to 15 years last time I had a credit one bank account. I meant a credit one credit card. Sorry about that. So at least about 10 to 15 years I had a credit one credit card. That was some years ago, right? So you could choose your payment due date. This, I don't really worry about this. Some people like that stuff to be on certain due dates. I don't particularly care for that. All right, and the annual fee is $75 the first year and $99 annually, okay? And the APR is 23.99%, all right? And you go to reviews, you can go on creditonebank.com and you can look at the review, review yourself. I'm not gonna go through that. Card benefits and features, you get more rewards. 1% cash back is really nothing, all right? That's, that's really nothing. and. I didn't see this when I was looking at the uh, at the fees and all that stuff. I didn't look at. I, I didn't see this. I think this is more so for the actual uh, platinum rewards card, okay, and the American Express card. This is not for the credit builder card, so don't even worry about this. You get free online access to your score with Experian, and you customize your notifications. This the score it comes like on your bill. It comes your bill. I believe you can access it on. The website as well but I always got it in my bill it came on the bill every month so you, you see what your score is all right most cards got this the fraud protection uh you get the green which you go paperless as everybody you get the mobile app obviously okay so we're going to get the card benefits and features so let's check that out Okay, you can view your online credit score for free, obviously. Customize your account notifications. Enjoy your peace of mind, zero fraud liability. On the go account access with the app. Customize your experience. Enjoy additional benefits every day. Receive automatic account reviews for credit line increases, which is typically around every six months. And you can get credit protection, which credit protection is okay. I don't use credit protection I had it before but I never actually used it you believe that but what happened with credit protection is pretty much if you lose your job or loss of income you can prove it usually it has to be w2 you send that information in and they'll suspend payments for a while and they'll pay it for you okay that's pretty much how that works so it won't count against you All right but um, again oh I don't know if it's if they're still doing it, but also with the credit line increase, of course, if you approve, you get charged twenty five dollars for that. Okay, so yeah, just let you know that. So here are the disclosures and in, in, in terms and conditions. Annual percentage rate seventeen to twenty three point nine nine percent, and that's dependent on credit worthiness. Okay. Same thing for cash advances. Paying your interest now. With the credit builder, I'm telling you right now, with the credit builder card, you're going to be paying interest daily, okay? So if you're gonna get to the credit builder card, you better be prepared to pay that ASAP. It's not a lot, because it's daily, but still, it's still daily, right? If your account has a grace period, your due date is at least 24 days after the close of each billing cycle, and interest will not be charged on purchases if your entire balance is paid by the payment due date each month. For accounts with no grace period, interest is charged on purchases from the posting date. All right. So, of course, everybody knows what the grace period is. Most of my credit card. That's why I tell you in my credit card videos, I don't pay interest because I pay most of my, I pay all of my balances up front by the next month's due date. All right. I pay it all 
and boom. And usually my balance, as you see, is only like about a hundred dollars, fifty dollars here, hundred dollars there, twelve dollars on this card. So that's easy to pay. So make sure everything is just paid up by that due date, and you'll be just fine. All right. If you are charged interest, the charge will be no less than a dollar. That's the same thing with First Premier. All right. Credit card tips from the Consumer Financial Bureau, all this other good stuff. Whatever, who cares about that? All right. So here are the fees. Annual fees, zero to ninety-five dollars for the first year. After that, ninety-nine dollars. We already know about that. Here it is. The annual fee will be billed to your account when it is open and will reduce the amount of credit you initially have available. For example, if you are assigned the minimum credit line of three hundred dollars, which is typically what it is, especially with the credit builder card, you will have initial balance of two hundred and five dollars. So you want to pay that immediately, right? Transaction fees, cash advance. If you just don't do a cash advance, we got to go through that. Don't be late and make sure when you pay your bill that your check is not returned. Okay. So that's with the credit, the credit builder card. All right. So let's go to the platinum rewards visa. All right. And it's pretty much the same stuff. 5% cash back rewards on the first $5,000 of eligible purchases each year. Okay, so that's pretty good. Get big rewards on purchases you make every day. Earn 5% cash back rewards on the first 5,000 of eligible gas, grocery, internet, cable, satellite TV, and mobile phone service purchases each year, then 1% thereafter. So and then you had the 1% unlimited after the 5% of the first 5,000. Then you get more rewards. Get up to 10% more cash back rewards from some of the nation's top retailers no offers to activate or points to redeem you automatically earn cash back rewards on your eligible purchases 95 dollars annual fee 23.99 percent apr okay same thing so we're going to go to the we already know this get more rewards free online access from Experian, customization fraud protection and the rest of that so we're going to go to the benefits and features So, of course, you know about the score already from Experian. You know about the notifications with customization, peace of mind, mobile app. Uh, I guess changing your due date, additional benefits, automatic account reviews for credit line increases, and again, a credit protection just in case you lose your job. So here go to disclosures and terms, 17.99 to 23.99 for the platinum rewards. That's based on credit worthiness. 17.99 to 23.99 APR for the cash advances, which we're not going to do cash advances. And again, here it is. With this, I believe the rewards may have a grace period. I don't know. Remember, I, didn't, I haven't had a car in years, so I really don't know. And matter of fact, back then when I had a car, they, they didn't even have cash back. <laughs> so, I mean... I just had a basic card like my first premier card. That's the same thing I had some years ago with credit one. I had a basic credit card, no cash back to anything. If your account has a grace period, your due date is at least 24 days after the close of due date, which you notice already. So again, if you got a grace period, you're fine. Just pay off that balance by the next month's due date. If you don't have a grace period, you already know you're going to be charged interest daily. Minimum interest charge, of course, is a dollar if you have it. So that's the minimum, the lowest you can go. And the annual fee is 95 the first year, $99 each additional year. And I should say the cash advance and all that. And don't be late. Don't take cash advances and don't return payments when you pay your uh, your credit card bill. So that's the rewards card, okay? So then we're going to go to the American Express card, okay? Credit One Bank American Express card. And it's pretty much the same stuff here. Perfect elevating your everyday experiences. But a good thing about this, this will put you in the American Express um, database. So that way American Express will start sending you stuff. All right. So when you go apply for American Express card, they may see that you're that you're utilizing your credit one American Express card. Okay. Unlimited 1% cash back rewards retail protection and special benefits of amex and amex offers enjoy the peace of mind that comes from knowing your purchases are covered with retail protection which will reimburse you if an eligible item is accidentally damaged or stolen so that's part of the american express thing all right 
and special benefits and Amex offers. Experience a more rewarding way to shop, dine, travel, and more with access to Amex offers that feature some of the nation's top brands. $39 annual fee, 23.99%. So if you can get this Amex card, I would say do that. Even though it's uh, 1% cash back, but you get $39, you get your Amex card, and you get retail protection, okay? Everything else is pretty much the same. Benefits and features. Enjoy your trip stress-free. You get up to $150,000 in travel accident insurance coverage when you travel using your Credit One Bank American Express card. Of course, free online to experience score and customized notifications, which you know about that. You get fraud protection and mobile app and, you know, going paperless. You get the credit score from Experian, notification, enjoy peace of mind. You got all this already. And then we're going to go down here to, bam, disclosures, 17.99 to 23.99%, depending on credit worthiness, just like all the other cards. Same with cash advance, interest, same thing, grace period or no grace period. Minimum interest charge is a dollar. Everything is pretty much the same. Annual fee, so this say $95, but remember, it's the American Express card, it's only $39, okay? So, cash advance, late payment. Okay, so you don't want to do cash advances, you don't want to be late. And you don't want to have return check charges when you're paying your credit card bill. Okay, so check this out. Here are the other cards they have. Are these Now, you let me know here. You let me know if you guys, let me know in the comments, if you guys have got a Credit One card with no annual fee, okay? This is called the Credit One Bank Wonder Card, okay? Buy an $80 National Park Pass with your Wonder Card on site at a National Park or online at recreation.gov within the first year from account opening and get an $80 statement credit. Earn five times points on eligible recreational amusement park purchases, three times points on eligible restaurant and lodging purchases, and one X points on all other purchases. Okay, so you go to 13 cards, you go to platinum visa for credit rebuilding. We already saw that one. This is an annual fee is $75.99. Okay, well, we'll see how that goes. That's if you get the platinum. Uh, Remember, when you apply for this stuff, just go through everything with a fine tooth comb. You might even want to call them and see what's going on, all right? You always see if, what you qualify for. You can always click to see if you pre qualify link. Here's the Credit One Platinum Visa. We went through that with 5%. Here's the Credit One Bank Wonder Card. This is $95. See, these got the fees on them 95, 75 to 99, 95, 95. Now, here they have cards with no annual fees. This is new. I've never seen this before. This is this. They, they must just did this one the past few years. Okay, so platinum rewards visa with no annual fee, two percent cash back rewards on eligible purchases, and gas, grocery, internet, cable, satellite TV, and mobile phone services. Free online access to the Experian credit score. Automatically get up to ten percent more cash back rewards from participating merchants. This is a no annual fee card. Okay. Now what I am gonna do, I'm going to look and see if it has any other fees when I come back to it. Because sometimes they might try to counter that fee with some other mess. The Wonder Card with no annual fee. Same thing. 3x points. But see, see, you don't have an annual fee. They lessen the points a little bit. I'm, I'm noticing that. All right. They got the Credit One Bank American Express card. Okay, this one still have the annual fee. All right. So this one still had the annual fee. And then you have the Platinum Visa. This probably one I had back in the day. It's probably one I had, but remember, it didn't have any rewards. I, I didn't get any cash back. So this is $39. This is probably one I had back in the day. You had the Best Friends credit card. Best Friends received a donation in amount uh, equal to 1% eligible purchases made with this card. Earn 5% cash back rewards on eligible pet shops, pet foods. Okay, it's for animals. All right. Got the Six Flags reward card. Zero to $39. Twist turn earn. Three times points on eligible six flags purchases and the WWE Credit One Visa card, $49. Okay. Superstar card they got. Okay. Superstar card. So they got the NASCAR card. So they got quite a few cards here. They got quite a few. Quite a few. 
Okay, so let me go up here to these no annual fee cards and see what they're saying. Then I'm going to get off here, right? Because I'm already 20 minutes in. So let me see here. Let me see what this was. The no annual fee card. Let's see. So they must have had excellent credit for this. Power Rewards Visa no annual fee. All right. 2% cash back on rewards, 0% annual fee, well, $0 annual fee, I should say, get more rewards, that's 10%. All this is pretty much the same. And let's go here to card benefits and features. Okay, we know all of this already. I want to see these disclosures. Okay, 17.99 to 23.99. 20, the grace period. Okay, zero ninety-five dollars. Okay, so they don't have any other fee. So if it's no annual fee, it's just no annual fee. Okay, that's good. That's good. But that's pretty much what's going on with the CreditOne.com thing. So let's go to CreditOne.com. Credit One. I'm sorry, CreditOneBank.com. So go to CreditOneBank.com. We want you to get you a Credit One Bank credit card. It's pretty easy to get. Just like the uh, the first Premier card, it's pretty easy to get. Just going here to be quite a bit, but with this one, you don't have to pay an upfront processing fee like with or a program fee like with first premiere. With first premiere, you got to pay that $95 pro, uh, program fee. With this one, there's no program fee. Just apply to see if you qualify first. What cards going to come up? You apply and you get it. You're going to get a low limit, and they're going to hit you with that annual fee up front, but just pay that off. Boom. Then when it re reports, it's not even on there. And just treat the card like I tell you, keep the card at. Five with well, anything under ten percent. Five to seven percent is ideal. So keep your card at five to seven percent. Pay that balance off before the next billing period. Boom, you don't get hit with no interest. And then on top of that, in six months, you'll be up for a credit limit increase. If they increase your credit by two hundred bucks, you still at five hundred, and now you're climbing that ladder. Before you know it, you'll be at fifteen hundred dollars. And while you're doing that, go ahead and get you a second credit card. Go ahead and get that first premiere. Well, go ahead and see if you can get you a visa uh, through Capital One, that platinum card through Capital One. All right. We can get you another Credit One card, but you have options out there. Okay. So, again, thanks for watching.